So we are here in the arbor in Cannes on a boat. Yeah, okay, we're doing a little day trip out to the islands. I'll show you around the boat. But here we are, there's Cannes. It was a little bit of a last minute panic getting here on time, but we actually made it with a few minutes to spare. So no, no need to panic. Just waiting for the last few passengers, then we're gonna go. So the boat's pulling out of the harbour and we're on our way on our little island trip around Cannes, the surrounding area. We'll also later in the video be exploring some of the local beaches as well as the ones in the centre of Cannes. So great video today and for those people who don't know us already we are Always Keep Moving Anna and Kelvin but in this short series from the French Riviera I'm uh, on my own as I am here on a work trip. But don't worry, I'm going to be showing you around. And as the boat is pulling away, let's take a little look around the boat. So after some nice swimming and playing around in the water with the kids, we got back back on the boat, relaxed, took it easy, sat in the sun, just had a bite to eat and a beer as we just took in the sights as the boat headed back to Cannes. That's where we came from. And this is where we're going to be going to the beach. On the beach from right across the road. In a beach club, we've got some beds, some beds booked, and then we've got lunch booked after it. So, beach club with its private beach. Mm -hmm. Okay, here we are. Check in, some beds, go for a swim.
It's the next day and we're doing a short road trip to another little town just a little bit further along the coast, about a 20 minute drive. We're driving through the nice suburbs overlooking the coast and the town we are going to is called... I know I'm going to pronounce it wrong but the town is called Mandala La Napule and the castle is called the Chateau de la Napole. But it's a great little town on the beach and we just arrived. So first impressions are good, the marina was nice, uh, we're heading past a couple of restaurants to the beach and I can see a castle in front of me. So yeah, we find a restaurant on the beach, have a nice lunch, I'm very glad I'm not paying for it, so uh, yeah, I want to see the prices. But it was nice, food was good, we're having a good thing on the beach and sort of sat beside the castle and enjoying a nice beach afternoon. So we're just heading home now, yeah? Just a nice drive, enjoying the sights as we go by. And right near to where it is, is a private landing strip. So you can watch the private planes land, watch the Ferraris drive by, and just sit back and enjoy the sights. Three quarters of the people driving. So as we get nearer to home, I start to recognize a few buildings and realize we're getting close. So very nice drive. I want to say a big thank you to Martin and his lovely family for inviting me along and having a great day with them and seeing a bit more of these surrounding areas, enjoying a great beach day. So what we did, we got back, I relaxed, yeah, took a shower and that evening England were playing in the final, playing Spain in the final of the Euros. So even though I didn't think we'd win, I still had to go and watch it. I couldn't resist. So after a disappointing night, it, was, it wasn't so bad because I had such a great day. Hope you enjoyed. We'll see you in the next one. <laughs>